Hey guys, Sarn Speakman here, Earthwalk Primitive. Um, I'm actually going to go over today. This is actually a, a video for Sarah. You guys, uh, she has a comment about one of my videos. On one of my videos about uh, food I like to prepare, what I usually carry. And um, to be honest, if it's just a short term, if I'm actually going out camping or something like that for a short term, I'm really not too picky with what I carry, or whatever is feasible, whatever fits my pack, whatever I like. But as far as uh, prepping for emergency situation or something to keep stocked in my kit, um, there's a couple different things I like to carry, many different things, but uh, I'm just going to go over a few today. Um, one thing I like to do is I have a, a food saver vacuum packer, and uh, that's what I love to use. And we're actually, I'm going to show that to you here in a bit as I show you how, I, how to use it. And, uh, go over one of the recipes uh, of something that I've made, but uh, uh, with one of these, your possibilities are endless, almost, of what you can do. You can put a lot of your dry goods in them, keep them stored, you can pre-make stuff, as you're going to see, as I'm going to show you here, and, and as I'm going to demonstrate. Um, but the life you get out of these is great. Like, I'm not just, I'm going to read right off the card that comes with the, the food saver. For instance, uh, flour, sugar, rice, pasta, dried beans, brown sugar, and dried coconut, all those things. Um, last six months in your shelf, uh, but vacuum packing it the last two years. So um, nuts, the same things, two years. So you could definitely pack uh, any flour-based product, something that you pre-made, rice, nuts, all that stuff. You can uh, vacuum seal, and uh, it'll it'll last you for for a while. Uh, and of course, you know, you could do things like vacuum packing your beef jerky too. That extends life to your to your beef jerky and anything like that you might wish to take out and carry. And this is just two examples right here of what I carry. I love cereal. So uh, I love a cereal eater. So one thing I have here, I have two different kinds of cereal. I just took two different kinds of cereals, put it in here. And then uh, what else what else I put in here was also a uh, sugar and uh, like I said this is one serving so I put in a uh, put in sugar with it and then I put in a cup worth of uh, not a cup of dried powdered mix but the, the amount of dry uh, powdered milk of dry milk you would need to make a cup of milk so uh, you had to look at the box I don't know exact measurements I think it was like I don't care, I'm not even going to quote but um, if you look at the package it'll tell you uh, so many ounces of powder makes a cup of milk. And so you mix that with a cup of water. So now I know that all I gotta do is open this up, open up the top, pour in a cup of water, you know, roll it over, close it up, shake it, stir it, do whatever, and I'll have instant, you know, I'll have milk in there with sugar and cereal. So, you know, I have two things of cereal that I have packed, and uh, I'm getting ready to go out this weekend, so these are definitely going in my pack. And uh, vacuum packing too, you know, you know, it condenses it down. You don't have to carry boxes, you don't have to carry containers. It limits your waste. Uh, with each of these meals, you know, I'm left with just this amount of plastic that I have to carry out with me, rather than cans and, and containers. Uh, another thing I love, uh, a video from last year, uh, I made corn pudding. And uh, I got, this is two servings worth of it, so if I'm out with somebody or if I open this up, I can make one serving in the morning, and it'll last me a couple of days even after opening this. Um, so this is just a organic medium ground cornmeal with, uh, I, for each serving I had three big scoops, I mean big scoops, uh, large tablespoon uh, scoops of uh, cornmeal, uh, three tablespoons of sugar, and a couple pinches of salt in there uh, for my corn pudding. And uh, you can even put brown sugar in here if you want and vacuum pack that. And it's still going to last you for two years and even more. That's just a given amount of time. But, um, you know, within two years, I'm going to use this. Now I could take this and have these pre made for uh, prepping and then store them right to date on the storm just for uh, prepping for the use of emergency. And then as they get close to the expiration date, you know, repackage some more and then use what is, you know, weeks or whatever from going out, months from going out, use that when I go out to the woods for hiking or camping or whatnot. So I got two servings of corn pudding, two servings of, uh, of uh, cereal. So right here is, is uh, four meals right here. 
that I had prepared uh, just from vacuum packing and, and you can do whatever you want. Like I said, you can make trail mixes, you can make oatmeal, uh, granolas, whatever you want. You can vacuum pack here and it's going to last you. And that's usually, to answer your question, Sarah, that's usually uh, the kind of stuff I take with me. Uh, I'm going to go over a bannock recipe, a quick, easy bannock recipe, and I'm going to vacuum pack that in the, in the vacuum packer. Uh, but even with that, there's so many things you can do with that and uh, things you can create, create different flavors, whatever you like. If you like raisins in your corn pudding or if you like raisins in your oatmeal, you know, package it however you want and uh, you can be creative and uh, make things that are going to last you a good bit of time for prepping. All right, so we're going to make my quick, easy uh, bannock base. And uh, what I got is a... Uh, Two cups of flour. I'm going to put in a half a teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of a baking powder, and just mix it around. That'll make a mess. And, and that's it. That's my easy, quick uh, bannock base. And what I mean by bannock base is you could take this just like it is, which I'm going to pack it up, package it just like it is, and uh, use that to make your bannock to bake your bannock out in the woods or you can add to this this is the base so you can make it just as it is or you can now throw in your mushrooms you, or not your mushrooms throw in your uh, um, man that really got me messed up throw in your raisins uh, whatever you want to put in there uh, throw in chocolate chips which is, I do quite a bit you can even take this and like I have in the past and uh, other videos you can season this to make it more of a a seasoned bread. I put garlic and oregano and, and different spices in there too to give it whatever uh, uh, flavoring you want. You can even sweeten it, put some sugar in there to make it a little bit sweeter. Throw in your chocolate chips to make it more of a, a, a sweet treat. But um, you know, you could do whatever you want with it. This is just a base. It's good as is. Or you could do whatever else you want with it. Uh, put cinnamon in it with some raisins and, and uh, that's one I'll have to try. I haven't tried that one yet. I've, tried, I've had it with raisins but not with putting anything like cinnamon or sugar in it. But that'll give me ideas for the future. Okay, if you don't, if you don't have a vacuum packer or a food saver or don't have one, um, when you buy them it comes with a, a decent supply of uh, bags. They come in different sizes, like these are pre-cut. They also come in rolls that you put in here. Um, you know, a roll will sit in here and you can work from it, or you can uh, package individual bags. Uh, I'm not really going to give you the particulars of this model or anything. This is actually an older model. I've had this one for quite some time. But, um, you know, they're pretty self-explanatory. Pretty, fairly easy to use. And uh, I'm just going to demonstrate how the vacuum is packed with this. Okay, well, my memory card filled up when I, when I went to seal that last one, so... Well, then go ahead and do another one. Once again, I got my two cups of flour and uh, my teaspoon, of, half a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of baking powder. Now, I decided I might as well go ahead and do something a little different this time since I'm doing it again. So, what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to put in a little bit of coconut. I don't know how much that is, about maybe a little over half a cup, and half a cup of packed brown sugar some almonds. I was going to add some cinnamon in there, but uh, apparently I'm out of cinnamon. And I'm just going to mix that. So I made myself a little bit of a, a sweeter, more of a, a treat. And you just got to mix it up as good. You don't have to mix it up completely. I mean, you don't have to be too worried about it, like some of the big lumps, because you're going to be kneading this anyway and mixing it, breaking it up even more when you actually make it. So. Those big clumps I'm not too worried about. Okay, so I got that next batch backed up, bagged up. Uh, I actually ran out of the, the pre-sized bags. I had to use the roll and cut one. I made that one a little bit too long, as you can see. This is the, the first bit that I have packaged up uh, of the bannock. Uh, which you didn't get to see because it got cut off, uh, but that's the two uh, the uh, two cups of flour, teaspoon of salt, or half teaspoon of salt, and a teaspoon of baking powder, the base, which you know you can add to whatever you want. Um, and this is the uh, the coconut 
the brown sugar and almond mixture I just made, uh, which is the same base. I just added the additional flavors, but to show you how easy it is to use these vacuum pack packers. I could cut this off if I wanted to. I mean, I can demonstrate that. Yeah, that's how easy they are. It just cuts it down the side. I do want to leave some excess space because, like I said, I want to mix, be able to mix it in the bag. That's it. It's easy as that. That's all you got to do. Uh, I'm sure each model works a little differently from itself, but uh, that's the basic basic gist of it. All right, so, so there you go. Just that little bit of time it took me to mix stuff up and uh, seal it. I have uh, two meals of bannock in there. I probably got more than two meals of bannock in that one. And then uh, two cereal meals and, and, and two uh, corn pudding meals. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, six, at least at least eight meals right there alone. Or eight eight food plots I can make right there. So you figure if I only eat uh, you know, whatever else I take with me, um, you know, beef jerky or whatnot, uh, and whatever food I find in the woods to supplement, you know, it's definitely a good amount of food just in these little bit of vacuum packs. So these vacuum sealers are definitely great to have, especially if you're a prepper and you want to have stuff one hand prepped. That's going to last you for a while and even to help uh, save the lifespan of a lot of the products you keep at home. But uh, there you go, Sarah. It's an answer to your comment I put up for you. And I hope you enjoyed the video. hope you learned something. I hope you try these out. And uh, if you've got any great recipes, anybody out there has some great bannock recipes uh, um, or different additions, you know, I'd like to hear about it. Send me a message or Put it on his comments so everybody else can see it and, and learn from it and try it out. And uh, sorry to speak, but Earth Walk Primitive, thank you.